Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daddy Cliff here. Today I am taking you back again to South Korea where there is another opportunity to study at KAIST, to do a master or a PhD at KAIST, that's Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. This university is located in Daejeon, South Korea, which is a technological hub of South Korea. In our past video, we looked at another opportunity to do a master or PhD at Seoul National University. If you've not yet watched that video, you might want to click the link up there on the top right hand of your screen and watch that video. Also, you might want to check my YouTube channel for Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology. They equally have an opportunity to equally do a master or PhD in that university. Now, these are opportunities that are available for you to study either in spring 2024 or in fall 2024. They usually say early preparation meets success. That is why I am bringing you guys this opportunity now so that you can take some time to apply. For example, if you look here, this is the KAIST timeline for application. It says online application. It will begin from August 24th and will run right up to the 14th of September 2023, which means you still have more than three months to prepare. June, July, August. And then this is the application link. It will be available from the 24th of August at exactly 10 a.m. Korean time and then will close on the 14th of September at exactly 5 p.m. Korean time. It is important for me to say that you would have to first apply online and then once you've passed the preliminary stage, just like at Seoul National University, that is when you would have to submit the documents that you used to apply online. It is very important that you follow the application guideline, follow the rules for the scholarship and then you would succeed because one of the reasons why many people usually fail to get scholarships is because they do not respect the rules, the guidelines that have been set for those scholarships. You would have to submit your documents by post from September 25th, 2023. And then interview will be from the 30th of October right up to the 17th of November. After you must have submitted your documents, you can check their arrival from the 1st of September and then application review by the different departments where they'll contact applicants individually for necessary interviews. And then scholarship review will begin from the 12th of December right up to the 13th of December. It is important for me to state that when applying online, you would have the opportunity to either select the option of self-financing yourself or consider the Kai scholarship. I did a tutorial on how to apply for Kai scholarship, but that was for bachelor's degree. Once the online application start, maybe I might consider doing one for graduate students, but I think it is not that different. If you've not yet watched the bachelor's tutorial on how to apply online, you might want to go and watch that video. I'll place a link at the end of this video. Now let's look at the eligibility criteria. It says applicants must hold or expect to hold a bachelor's degree for master's or a master's degree for PhD integrated program application or a master's degree for a doctoral program by February 2024. It simply means that if you are applying for a master's degree, make sure you already have a bachelor's degree. If you are applying for an integrated program, that is master's and PhD, make sure you already have a bachelor's degree. If you are applying for a doctoral program, make sure you already have a master's degree before February 2024. It is important to note that there are key words here, must hold or expect to hold by February, which means if you have already graduated, it means you must hold. If you are still learning, you're still in your bachelor's or master's degree, which means you are expecting to hold. You will graduate in the near future. Make sure that you graduate by February 2024. It is very important that you take note of that, which means you can apply even before graduating but make sure you graduate by February 2024 and you would have to provide documents that prove that you will graduate soon, like certificate of expected graduation. Let's look at B, citizenship. It says applicants must hold citizenship outside South Korea, which means you are not supposed to be a South Korean citizen to apply for this scholarship. You are supposed to be a foreigner. If you are a South Korean citizen, you are not eligible for KAIS International Graduate Admission Circle. There are other eligibility requirements for 
Korean citizenship that you might want to read on your own. And then English proficiency. It says our official language of communication and instruction for international students at KAIS is English. All the applicants for international admission must provide at least one of the following English proficiency tests. And they say recognize English language proficiency tests taken on or after September 14, 2021. Remember, most of the English tests like IELTS have a two year span before they expire, which means you have to take them after every two years. You must obtain one of the standardized tests, either TOEFL, IELTS, TOEIC, TEPS. But if you did your undergraduate or maybe your master's degree in a university, University that uses English as a medium of instruction you do not need to provide an English proficiency test you will then request for a waiver of the requirements to prove an English proficiency test score if you meet one of the following conditions here this is for most of the countries that use English as their medium of instruction but for those of us from countries that do not have English as their official language but we do learn in English you might want to rate B. You do not need to provide an English proficiency score if you hold citizens of the following countries and have completed a qualification equivalent to a bachelor's degree or higher in English as the medium of instruction from the following countries. You have to provide a certificate proving the medium of instruction must be supplemented, i.e. English lecture certificate. You can provide an English test document to show that your studies was in English. But if you come from one of these countries, from Botswana, Cameroon, right down to Zimbabwe, you do not need to provide an English proficiency test this is because this university has already had the experience of teaching students from these countries they already understand that they use english as their medium of instruction which means if they admit them learning in english will not be a problem but in case your country is not on the list and you can provide a document that proves that english is the medium of instruction in your university then it is good for you now for those applying for one of the graduate programs that is masters they do not need to find an academic advisor when applying to kais but it is important to know that you would have to find and indicate the names of at least three faculty members in the department you want to apply to and whose research interest aligns or overlaps with your area of research state their names during the online application process you do not need to actually communicate with the advisors before writing down their names it is okay but it is also important to note that some departments might want you to communicate with the advisors first be before you write down their names which means you would have to talk to them ask them to supervise you it will therefore be your responsibility to make sure you are applying for a program that does not require you to contact a professor or an advisor beforehand when applying to a particular major make sure the major does not require you to contact a professor before in writing down their name in the online application form but on the contrary for those applying for a doctorate program or an integrated master or PhD program they will be required to find one faculty member talk to them obtain advice before they indicate their names in the online application form now let's look at the online application process like I said online application starts in September 14 2023 you still have enough time to get your documents ready for those who have to authenticate or notarize their documents start doing it now because it usually takes weeks or months to get those documents authenticated at the korean embassy or at the notarization office so you need to start doing it now because you would have to scan those documents upload before applying online and then keep those documents once you've passed the preliminary stage you would have to post them to an address this is the address that has been stated here graduate admission team KAIST first floor so you would have to take note of this address the online application will be available here on this link and then to complete the online application you would have to create a KAIST account and then enter your personal information academic background your past experience and your achievements like awards you would have to write your statement of purpose answer other questions that KAIST will require you can equally look at the bachelor's 
tutorial that I made, you might have a bit of idea as to the type of questions that they will ask. I made that video last month. You might want to check it at the end of this video. Next thing is choosing your financial source. Like I mentioned before, you can apply for Kai Scholarship in this step because there is an option for you to take self-finance or apply for Kai Scholarship. So you need to check either self-finance or Kai Scholarship when applying online. It is very important. And then most importantly, there is an online application of 80,000 Korean won or $80. You need to pay that money before your application will be considered complete. Once you've paid the application fee, the only thing that you have to do is make sure you always check regularly on your emails, check the KAIS online application form for the decision. Like for example, maybe you might be scheduled for an interview and the final decision outcome of the interview. Now let's look at the KAIS scholarship benefit. It says KAIS scholarship is a financial aid program to support international students. KAIS will review applicants based on prior performance and future promises and will decide awardees and rates. Decision will be announced with the final results. Benefits include full tuition fee grants, a monthly stipend of 350,000 Korean won for masters and 400,000 won for doctoral students and health insurance premium supported by their advisors or programs. Then most importantly, KAIS will review the performance of the beneficiary every year and decide whether to prolong our financial aid. And then most importantly, this statement here, it says the rate may vary by your participation in research projects and performance. It is very important. KAIS is a research institute, which means your publications, presentation in conferences, be it in South Korea or international conference will really play a role in you getting financial support. There are some students at KAIS who get more than three times the amounts that have been stated here because of their level of research potential. Some students have more than a million won for masters and PhD. So it is very important. These are amounts that can be negotiated with your professors, but do not worry about these amounts. The most important thing is first, you getting the scholarship. Now let's look at the necessary documents that you would have to provide. The first one is that you need to provide a checklist of the various documents that you will use for application. And then you would have to print out the online application. So you fill it out, print it out, and then add it to the documents that you would post to South Korea. And then you have to provide a statement of financial resource printout, especially for those who will take self-finance. If you do not apply for Kai scholarship, know that you have to provide this document. You will equally be required to provide letters of recommendation, and this will be done electronically, which means you would have to provide the emails of your recommenders, and then they will send them a recommendation request email for them to recommend you you would equally have to provide certificates of your degree or diplomas you'd have to provide your yeah, degree certificates be it bachelor's degree if you're applying for masters and master's degree if you're applying for phd and then also you have to provide the transcripts it is very important you'd have to provide english proficiency test you have to choose which one degree in an english native country currently enrolled at kais or citizen of an english native country you have to choose one of them when applying you'd have to provide curriculum vitae it is very important start making a curriculum vitae if you don't have it there is no designated form you'd have to provide a copy of your passport which is valid you'd have to provide a document that can prove your citizenship it can be a passport of your parents if you don't have this document you can replace it with certificate of family registry but i don't know maybe some countries have it you have it here in south korea and then there are other documents like list of honors and award employment certificate school provide credit rating system if you have all of these documents provide it if you have any document here provide it it will help in your application. Do not minimize any document. That being said, I would have to end the video here because this video has been very long. Like I always tell people, preparation meets success. You still have some time to apply for this scholarship. Make sure you take the opportunity. One final thing before we end the video, please remember to check the Guangzhou Institute of Science and Technology scholarship that has been announced. You would find the deadlines here. You can apply for spring or fall and these are the scholarship benefits. You can equally check the Seoul National University 
graduate scholarship for spring 2024 that has equally been launched i have those videos on my channel that being said i wish you the best in your application and i hope to see you someday in south korea bye bye